Welcome to Chapter 4, Demand and Supply, Module 5, Supply. In Segment 4, we will discuss changes of economic variables and their effect on the supply diagram. What is covered in this segment? First, we will review important determinants of supply. Then you will learn how to use the supply curve if prices change. You will also learn under which circumstances the supply curve shifts if another variable other than the price changes. And finally, you will learn how to use a scheme to determine if the supply curve shifts and if so, in which direction. Please note that these topics are not covered in as much detail than in module 2 of this chapter, where we discussed the demand curve and the possibility of demand curve movements. I recommend to review module 4 before viewing this segment. Let us first review important determinants of supply. We already showed in the previous segment of this module that the price is the most important determinant of supply. But other economic variables, most of them cost-related, also influence the supply. Material cost, labor cost, environmental standards, and so on. We start with the price. The supply diagram was actually developed to analyze price changes. Therefore, we will use the diagram as it is to analyze the price change. Initially, the price is P0. To find out which quantity supplied goes with P0, we first go from P0 horizontally to the supply curve, then straight down to the quantity axis and mark the point with S0, which shows this is the quantity supplied which goes with the price P0. Because we want to model a price increase, we have to choose a higher price than P0. We choose a point which is above P0 on the price axis. Again, go horizontally until we reach the supply curve. Go straight down from there until we reach the quantity axis and mark the point with S1 to show this is the supplied quantity triggered by the price P1. We can see that S1 is further to the right than S0, showing that S1 is greater than S0. Therefore, the price increase from P0 to P1 was leading to a quantity supplied increase from S0 to S1. This is actually what we would have expected from the law of supply. An increasing price leads to an increasing quantity supplied. Economists call the change of price and the change of supply we modeled here sometimes a move along the curve. And if you look at the arrow and the changing combinations of P0S0 to P1S1, you probably can understand why it is called sometimes a move along the curve. What happens if another determinant of supply other than the price changes? One of the cost categories or another determinant of supply. We will focus on material costs. We assume that the oil price increases and that leads to higher material costs for all companies in the market we are analyzing. Let us assume initially the price is P0 and the supplied quantity is S0. Then let us further assume the material cost increases due to the higher oil cost. The supply curve was based on a survey. Producers were asked how much they would produce if the price is this or that. At that time, producers could not know that the oil price would change. The supply curve is therefore based on the oil prices when the survey was conducted. The same is true for all other determinants of supply with the exception of the price. With other words, the supply curve is based on the assumption that nothing except the price would change. This is called the ceteris paribus assumption and we covered this in detail in module 4 of this chapter. So we can summarize, and this is very important. If any determinant of supply other than the price changes, the red line in the diagram would not represent the market supply anymore. The correct curve will be somewhere else in the diagram. As explained in module 4 when we discussed demand curve shifts, we do not know exactly where the new curve is located, but we can find out if it is to the right or to the left of the original curve. If material cost increases, overall cost increases and the supplied quantity for any given price will decrease. Therefore, 
the supply curve shifts in the direction of smaller supplied quantities. Look at the horizontal axis. Although you don't find numbers at the horizontal axis, you know that smaller numbers are further to the left, while greater numbers are further to the right. An increase in material cost will shift the supply curve to the left towards smaller quantities supplied. How will the new supply curve influence the supplied quantity? If the market price is still the same, then the price of P0 will now create a smaller supplied quantity. You can see this if you go from P0 horizontally to the new supply curve, that is the only one which is valid after the material cost increase, from the new supply curve straight down to the quantity axis, and there you will find the new quantity supplied. We label it here 0M to show that it is still based on the price P0, but on the new material cost. The supplied quantity 0M is further to the left than S0, therefore the supplied quantity decreased after the material cost increased. Here is a more general approach to find out how a change of an economic variable is reflected in the supply market diagram. It is recommended that you use this scheme to analyze supply changes. When an economic variable changes, you start with step 1. Does the price change? If yes, no curve shifts. Use the original curve to find the new supplied quantity. If no, you go to step 2. In step 2, you ask the question, is the changing variable a direct determinant of supply? No. Then neither the supply curve shifts, nor the supplied quantity changes. If yes, the supply curve shifts. Then you have to find out in which direction it will shift. If the change increases supply, the curve shifts to the right towards bigger numbers. If the change decreases supply, the curve shifts to the left towards smaller numbers. Finally, you have to use the new supply curve to find the quantity supplied after the curve shifted. Before you can apply the scheme, we have to talk about what is meant by direct determinant. I will explain this by explaining what is not a direct determinant of supply. A variable which influences demand and therefore may be indirectly the supply is not considered a direct determinant of supply. The reason? The supplied quantity would be indirectly influenced, but not directly by the variable itself. Here is an example. After E. coli was found in spinach in California in September 2006, the spinach demand went down significantly, eventually influencing the spinach production and spinach supply too. But note, it was the spinach demand and the resulting price change which influenced the spinach production directly, not the E. coli news. Therefore, the E. coli news would not be considered a direct determinant of supply. These news were actually a direct determinant of demand for spinach. This, by the way, would shift the demand curve and not the supply curve. Before we apply the scheme to an improvement in technology, I want to introduce some important terminology. Quantity supplied is a specific quantity of supply related to a specific price. If a price changes, the quantity supplied changes. Here's a hint. You would find different supplied quantities at the horizontal axis of the supply diagram. The supply curve represents the supply. Supply reflects the supplied quantities for all prices. And the emphasis is on for all prices. If the supply curve shifts, that means that the supply changes. Now we can apply the scheme to the example. So how does a technology improvement will influence the supply? How is this reflected in the supply diagram? The first question is, does the price change? No, it was a technology improvement we are discussing here, not a price change. Then we have to answer the question, is the changing variable a direct determinant of supply? Yes, it is. A technology improvement would lower production costs and therefore increase supply, which means the supply curve will shift. What is the reason for the shifting curve? Here's the initial situation. 
the price is P0 and the supplied quantity is S0. Now the technology improves. But the supply curve is based on the assumption that nothing except the price would change. This is our Ceteris Paribus assumption. This means this supply curve can't be valid anymore. The new supply curve would be somewhere else in the diagram, but not where it is right now. In other words, because the original supply curve was developed for the original technology, the red line in the diagram does not represent the market supply after the technology improvement. After we know that the supply curve will shift, we have to figure out in which direction. If the technology improves and it is cheaper to produce, the supplied quantity for any given price will increase. The supply curve shifts in the direction of greater supplied quantities. A technology improvement shifts the supply curve to the right towards greater quantities supplied. Here is a diagram with a shifted new supply curve. As already mentioned, we do not know how much the curve shifts and if it shifts parallel. We only know the direction. We know it shifts to the right. For practical purposes, we recommend to shift the curve approximately parallel and not too much and not too little. Now you can use the new supply curve to analyze the effect of the technology improvement on the supplied quantity, given that the price did not change. So, if the market price is still the same, P0, then this market price will create a greater supplied quantity. You can see this if you start at P0, then you draw a horizontal line until you reach the new supply curve and go straight down. Mark the new supplied quantity with S0T. T stands for the new technology. Zero shows that it is still the price P0 which generated the supplied quantity. And what you can see is that S0T, so the supplied quantity with the new technology, is further to the right than S0. Therefore, the technology improvement was leading to a greater supplied quantity. What did you learn in this segment? You learned how a change of economic variables is reflected in the supply diagram. You learned that a change of price does not change the supply. The supply curve would not shift, but the quantity supplied would change. And finally you learned a change of a direct determinant of supply changes the supply for all prices. The supply curve shifts either to the right or to the left.